Hello, friends. Today, we're going to do some adorable art with Mrs. V. I love to draw, and I love to add all kinds of details and colors to my pictures. So today, I want you to do a direct draw rabbit with me. And we're going to see how different yours looks from mine and know that that's okay. So I want you to go and grab a blank sheet of paper, a pencil, and something to color with. Go ahead and grab that and then we'll get started. So to start our direct draw, remember you can go anywhere on the paper that you want. I'm gonna start in the middle because I wanna do a scene around my picture. Get a crayon, any color you want. I'm gonna start with black. The first thing you're gonna do is start with a head and our head is going to be an oval or an egg shape. So I'm gonna do my oval in the middle of my paper. The next thing we're gonna do is the body. My body's gonna be a big, bigger oval, oval my body's gonna be a bigger oval. So I'm gonna start partway down from his head and I'm gonna do a big oval down here and then come back up. I'm making a chubby bunny. Now we need to do his ears. And his ears, remember, are kind of like an oval, but it's not gonna stop at the, or it's gonna stop at his head. So we're gonna do one ear and we're gonna do another ear over here. So it's kind of lopsided. Remember, if yours doesn't look like mine, that's okay because this is your bunny. Now let's do a nose, a mouth, some arms, and some legs. So to do his nose, we're gonna start with a straight line, just a little straight line in the middle of his face. And now we're gonna make a U to connect the straight line, just like that. And then we're gonna do a J from the bottom of his nose. Okay, see how that's a, a backwards J and then we're gonna do a regular J. Okay, so now he's got his little face there. To do his arms, we're gonna come down where his arms would be on his body and I'm gonna do another half oval and then another half oval on the other side. Okay, he's been eating too many jelly beans we're gonna give him some big feet. We're gonna make some ovals on his feet too. One and two, just like that. Next, we need to add some details because we have our basic bunny here, but we need to add details like our eyes, our tail, and other parts of our ears. So let's go ahead and add our eyes. I'm gonna do two ovals for his eyes. And I'm also gonna fill in the bottom with a little bit of black. So see, it looks like he's looking at something. Now I'm gonna add his tail. So we're gonna come over and you can do his tail on either side and we're gonna make like a little cotton ball. So I'm gonna go one bump, two bumps, three bumps. So he's got his little tail on the bottom. And in his ears, remember whenever you think of a bunny's ears, they have an inside pink part. So we're gonna make that where that pink part's gonna go by doing a smaller little half oval just like that and the last thing we need to do is add a little bit more detail with whiskers give them some toes and some fingers so to do the toes we're just going to come down here and draw three little lines one two three on the end of his foot and then do the other side one two three so then you got your little toes now we're gonna do the same thing for fingers. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? Remember you can fix it however you want. And then the last is our little whiskers. We're gonna make sure that our whiskers, you always come back to that same starting point and draw little lines going out of his face. So again, starting at a point, but coming back to it for all three whiskers. And there you have your bunny. Now we're going to color it and add some stuff around it. So I pulled all the crayons that I think I'm gonna use 
And now we're gonna go ahead and color. So does yours look like mine? No, that's fantastic. It shouldn't. I want you to use your own imagination to come up with something that you want to create. If you really want to get more creative, go and get a piece of lined paper and write a story about your bunny. What kind of friends does he have? What's his adventure? What's his problem that he's solving? Be creative with your words, not just your art. So also, Give your bunny a name. My name is Hoppy because he's a very hoppy bunny. Get it? Until next time, be safe and have fun.